Moon 2.0 is very exciting. Uh, we see this as an opportunity for the average guy to really get involved with our team, with the other teams, and kind of take that dream of space exploration from being a big government-run entity to actually being something that the citizens can participate in. Uh, we're very excited about uh, Moon 2.0 and how it's, we believe it's going to actually open up a new era in space exploration. What we are working on right now is unique. It's not a rover that actually travels across the surface of the moon. It's a hopper. And this gives us an advantage over rovers in such that we can actually go to places that rovers can't go. We can descend down into the depths of craters or even actually land on top of a mountain if we needed to. Additionally, this type of technology we feel will be very useful when we go and explore asteroids or perhaps even the moons of Mars. The vehicle itself is designed around what's called an Orbcon Generation 2 bus, which has been developed commercially by Sierra Nevada Corporation. We've taken that Orbcom bus and the engineering that's already been done and of course modified it with our hopper technologies. And that is all going to be launched aboard, we hope, a SpaceX Falcon 1E. Our team is basically a consortium of industry and academic members that are all working on different parts of the puzzle. For example, MIT is working on the Tolaris Hopper. They're, they're focused on that. On the other hand, we have Sierra Nevada Corporation working on the engineering for the actual flight vehicle. So there are great technical and financial challenges to complete this project. Uh, we feel that the technical uh, aspects are, are really in the bag. What we really need to do now is communicate the value of what we are doing to the general public. And I think people will get sucked into it once they see what's going on. And once that happens, I believe we'll secure the corporate sponsorships that we really do need to, uh, to finish this project in the next couple of years.